one of the groups of the Christians had come through to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam from Najran. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked by them saying, please send one of you with us to come back with us to our area in order to teach us and in order to be a judge in whatever disputes we may have and so on. So Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, this was at the first part of the morning. He said, come back to me in the evening and I will send with you a man who is strong and he is the trustworthy of my ummah. So Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu says, I heard this and I was very interested. I was not interested in being sent, but I was interested in being known with these qualities that were made mention of. So I was early for Salat al-Dhuhr and I sat there with Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam very near him. And then after Salah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam looked to his right and he looked to his left and he says, I put my neck up so that he could see me, you know, that Umar is here. Subhanallah, May Allah grant us ease. And then Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, where is Abu Ubaidah? Subhanallah. And then he appointed Abu Ubaidah and he told him, go with these people, be just and fair, teach them goodness. And remember, you are a person who I consider the trustworthy of this ummah. So Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu says that as much as I knew that yes, subhanallah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam loves us all. But it was on that day that I learned the credentials of this man, Abu Ubaidah Amir ibn al-Jarrah. He was one of the first who had accepted Islam. It was this group that accepted Islam right at the beginning that made up the 10 who were told that you are from paradise. Imagine one day Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was seated and suddenly, Suddenly he just said, Abu Bakr is from Jannah. Umar, you are from paradise. Uthman, you are from paradise. Ali, you are from paradise. Az Zubair, you are from paradise. Talha, you are from paradise. And so on. And he continued until the 10 names were mentioned. And Subhanallah, Abu Ubaidah was one of the names. So who was instrumental in him accepting Islam? It was none other than Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu. He was a man initially, he went to all his friends and he convinced almost all of them. Those who were close to him, they knew he was an honest, upright man. So he convinced them how many of us would ever be able to speak to the close friends of ours or business associates of ours to convince them to do something right when they are doing something wrong. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala strengthen us. Many of us, when we are cheered along in our wrongdoings, then we consider such a person a friend. So when I'm doing wrong and someone says, well done, well done, he's my friend. That's what we think. Not realizing a true friend is he or she who tells us what we have to hear, who tells us what we need most desperately to hear, even if it means they have to correct us in a way that we feel bad. The fact that they felt for us makes us genuine friends of ours. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us recognize the few genuine friends that we have that stand by our side correcting us rather than a city full of people who may be hypocritical, who try to come to us to befriend us through, through making us do even more wrong after they know we've done wrong. May Allah protect us all. This was the same man when it came to Saqifa to Bani Sa'ida after the death of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu and Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu met with Sa'd ibn Ubadah and the others in Saqifa to Bani Sa'ida to appoint the leader. The first person that Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu felt initially that this man would be our leader was Abu Ubaidah, Amir ibn al-Jarrah. He stretched his hand and he said, Oh Abu Ubaidah, stretch your hand. Let me pledge allegiance to you as the successor of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because wallahi, these ears have heard Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam on more than one occasion call you the trustworthy of the ummah. So indeed, you will be entrusted with successorship. And Abu Ubaidah, Amir ibn al-Jarrah immediately turned it down. And he says, I will never ever put myself in front of a man who was asked to lead the prayers during the life of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And this is when Umar ibn al-Khattab radiallahu anhu agreed and they turned to Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu and they pledged allegiance to him. Take a look today. You have, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all a lesson. This man was being offered a post that was not only of spiritual value, but even of political value. And he turned it down. 
Today, people are fighting for posts that they do not deserve. Do we realize that? 